Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Genshin Impact. Ja, ich hoffe euch geht's gut. Ich habe auf jeden Fall wieder Lust Story zu spielen. <lacht> Nachdem letztes Mal ja wirklich nur Gekloppe war. Und dann werden wir mal sehen. Traveler in Paimon. Good to see you. I knew you two would come. Are you kidding? We wouldn't miss it for the world. We've been looking forward to it. <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Wait just a moment. I'll fetch the tickets. The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Ooh, front row seats! Thanks, Linny! Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Hey, Lenny! Could you come over here and take a look at this? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cal, my assistant, calling me. I'll go lend him a hand. Moment kurz. Du willst uns Tickets geben. Die besten des Hauses. Warum auch immer die noch frei sind, wenn du so ein beliebter Zauberer bist. Ich meine, wir sind erst seit sehr kurzer Zeit hier. Also deine äh, Show, ich weiß nicht. Die besten Tickets des Hauses sollten eigentlich längst vergriffen sein. Aber okay. Aber dann willst du uns weiß machen. Die besten Tickets des Hauses sind in der ersten Reihe. Ich weiß jetzt nicht, wie oft ihr äh, in eine Oper geht. Oder wie oft ihr in... Ähm Ist das schon? Wie oft ihr äh, euch Filme in einem Kino anseht. Aber... Setzt ihr euch da in die erste Reihe? Höchstwahrscheinlich nicht. Und warum nicht? Weil man da ordentlich Nacken bekommt. Das sind so ziemlich die schlechtesten Plätze. Und vor allem hat man dann halt echt eine, auch keine gute Übersicht. Die besten Plätze in einem Opernhaus sind eigentlich die auf den äh, Balustraden, weil du einfach eine sehr tolle Übersicht hast. Auch bei ganzen Events, von wo wird gefilmt, äh, von der, also egal was für ein Event, sei es jetzt äh, irgendein Konzert oder irgendeine eine Zaubershow, äh, irgendetwas, wird er von der ersten Reihe aus hochgefilmt? Oder hat man quasi eine schwimmende, fliegende Kamera meiste Zeit, die halt äh, den Großteil der Bühne versucht einzufangen? Ja. Also, sorry, aber... Okay, für Paimon vielleicht ist es ein guter Platz, weil Paimon braucht keinen Sitz, sie kann fliehen. Aber ansonsten, wenn du nicht gerade jedem anderen die Sicht versperren kannst, dann ist, der erste, dann ist die erste Reihe wirklich nicht, wirklich kein guter Sitzplatz. 
Naja. Aber an die Arbeit. Also... Ja. Ich sag mal so, von hier kann man eigentlich sehr gut sehen. Okay, man, vielleicht ist es einem wirklich etwas weit entfernt. Dafür gibt es dann Operngläser. Ähm, also halt so diese kleinen Ferngläser, falls ihr die kennt. So. Ja gut, hier hat man alles sehr stark gewinkelt, kann man sagen, ja, ist einem nicht schön. Aber hier. Man hat alles im Blick, man ist sehr nah dran und hat einen sehr kleinen äh, Winkel nur. Die Ehre ist ganz deinerseits, Paimon. Ist es nicht normalerweise deine Aufgabe? Genau. Tu etwas. Äh. Excuse me, I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Oh, uh, so you heard all of that, did ya? <laughs> Boy, you sure have good ears. Paimon thought she was keeping her voice down. Uh, wait, that's not it. Paimon's, sorry. Um, Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Uh, so, let's talk, but... What should we talk about? Jetzt wird es no noch unangenehmer. Ja. Yeah. <lacht> Aber okay. Irgendwie Nouvellet hört sich in diesem Dialog anders an als in seinem äh, als in seinen Kampfanimationen, also Kampf Voice Lines. Ich weiß nicht. Hm. Äh, insgesamt aber ja, nicht interessant. Ja, 
A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linney would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Hmm. <laughs> It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across to that. And Endlich mal einer. Etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am... Oh, Monsieur Nervillette. What an honor it is to have you here to see my show. Ah, Mr. Linney. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervillette is. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Ooh! Uh, sorry for being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea you were such an important person. No offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to. There's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a pose for quite a while now. I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. <laughs> you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. Otherwise, she may become flustered. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. <laughs> she sure has a smug and satisfied look on her face. Guess she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. We may now enjoy the show. <laughs> huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? All right. Please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. Yay! The show is finally about to start! Okay. Ja, aber zumindest hat sie es Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. Now, Whoa. some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. 
A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? This one's a little tricky. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely. Right before your very eyes. <sighs> it's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. them to check all the props carefully with the lid on even air can't escape an amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now <laughs> luckily it's me on stage so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do <laughs> Also wenn er sie jetzt wieder beschwört, dann haben wir ein Problem. Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Sie hat Ersatzkleidung. Yay! Sehr beeindruckend. Kein Wunder, dass Linné ein so berühmter Zauberer ist. Ja, ich fand es jetzt nicht hm, etwas zu viel Gelaber für meinen Geschmack. Also wenn man sich mal andere Zaubershows ansieht. Aber okay, das ist... Äh, sowas nachzuahmen ist wirklich schwierig. Hm. If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. To appreciate magic, we should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Yeah. That's right. Hyman couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Amazing! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one lucky audience member. Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now... There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. 
I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> a swap! Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow! How's he gonna do this? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks? Or does Lenny have actual superpowers? We will see. The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. Oh, let me see. Oh, row 7, seat 3. Congratulations! You now have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up. You might even find yourself in the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, <laughs> okay. There is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Like this. 60, 59, 58. Just keep counting down. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Ooh! Paimon kinda wants to count faster after hearing him say that! <laughs> ah, Linné hat sich bestimmt darauf vorbereitet. Bei, bei so vielen Menschen, die gleichzeitig zählen, ist es ziemlich schwer, schneller zu zählen. Äh... No, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. Come on, repeat after me. 60, 59, 58. 60, 59, 58! That's right, perfect. Keep it going. All right, I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. <laughs> All right. You look so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. 40, 39, 38! Mr. Linney, are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double-checking the direction of the magic. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, mid-air right above the audience. Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. Ah, I think it's Teil of the show. Und vielleicht hat er vollstes Selbstvertrauen in seine Fähigkeiten. Sollte er haben als großartiger Zauberer, also... Das kam doch von der Bühne, oder? Um unsere Aufmerksamkeit abzulenken. Zählt lieber! Mr. Linney, I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. I can't tell left from right. Never mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. 
No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry, we still have 20 seconds. Hear them counting. 19, 18, 17. Ah, uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. Uh. It looks like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. Ten! Almost there now. Eight. Whew, swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait! Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Seven! Hey, slow down! Six, Honestly! Five! Four! Three! Uh, whoops! Two, that doesn't count! One, zero! Ne? This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards, secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. <laughs> yes, that's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then... then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice! No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Mm. Yo. Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowell in the box rather than the guest from the audience. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances of young women. Uh, the, the serial disappearances case? <gasps> That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before! Und das war vor so vielen Zuschauern, mitten während einer Show. Ja, das ist... Äh, hm. Aber hey, Props erstmal an Paimon. Es ist ein Verbrechen passiert und Paimon hat uns nicht einfach random ass für die Schuldigen beze äh, bezeichnet. Wie das noch in Liwe der Fall war. Ich muss ja auch mal das Storytelling loben, wenn ich es kann. <lacht> ähm, ansonsten, ja, schon ziemlich scheiße gelaufen. Powerful magician Mr. Linny 
is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. No. This all occurred during your magic show, did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? Now that I think about it, that whole speech about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced challenge. That can't be right. How can Lenny do this? He was in the box on the stage the entire time. We could even hear his voice. Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. He could have possibly mean catching himself. Aber er ist äh, trotzdem ein Verdächtiger. Aber trotzdem geschah auch alles zu einem recht merkwürdigen Zeitpunkt. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina, may I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Huh? I just think that he, well, I. Uh... I think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's gonna personally deliver justice. A kidnapping and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Lady Farina said it all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. That's right. I mean you, Traveler. You'll support Linny, won't you? After all, he was the one who helped you the first time we met. Ich glaub an Lunay's Unschuld. Hmm. Verständlich, aber dass er momentan sehr verdächtig ist, ist halt, naja. <lacht> Then there's no problem at all. You know, the Traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. Um. With Lenny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome. So, no more draws. Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, the Opera Epicles. Huh. It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. I understand. Charges have now been pressed. As such, a trial is in order. Well, Traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, <laughs> I would like to ask you, are you willing to act as Mr. Linney's attorney and defend him in this case? Nein! Oh, man! Ich weiß, wie das in meiner eigenen Gerichtsverhandlung ausgegangen ist in Neverwinter Nights 2. Äh, in Neverwinter Nights 1 waren wir noch selber der Richter. Ähm, aber das ging so gar nicht gut aus. Wobei zugegeben, in Neverwinter Nights 2... Ich weiß nicht, ob das wirklich Spoiler ist für so ein altes Spiel. Ähm, da wird man irgendwann angeklagt, man hätte ein ganzes Dorf massakriert. Also da ist Lunay äh, schon echt... <lacht> ist Lunay halt schon echt äh, ein Unschuldskind quasi. Ich meine, ein Mord, eine Entführung. Hm nicht so viel und für alle weiteren Entführungen kann man ihm keinerlei äh, Nachweise geben. Also, naja. Übrigens, äh, was das Duell mit Furina angeht, 
Ich würde ja sagen, lass es uns vor dem Thron ausführen. Wie in Inazuma. Da gibt es dann auch keine Überlebenden. Da gibt es kein Unentschieden. Ähm... The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. Linny and his troop are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I'm really quite looking forward to hearing it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about everything that happened just now. Were you frightened? Of course! Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? And poor Cal. I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? Nein, ich weiß es nicht genau. I understand. Even I'm not sure what happened, so I can only imagine how difficult it is for you to grasp the situation. I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But, if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries, such that all that's left is confusion. I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not, and I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear, I'm afraid I don't have any answers either. If someone tampered with my performance, then we need to figure out what they did. Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. Hmm, das ist sehr merkwürdig. Aber genau das ist passiert. Woher kommt die Brille? With the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. <sighs> Thanks for that. We'll be counting on you. Yes, thank you so much. Ja, ich werde euch nicht enttäuschen. Ich bin an so etwas gewöhnt. Was, Anwalt zu sein? Normalerweise bringen wir uns über die äh, Position des Angeklagten. Zumindest war das in drei von den bisherigen vier ähm, Regionen der Fall. In Liwe, weil Paimon völlig überreagiert hat. In Inazuma, weil wir uns gegen Ai äh, bzw. der Rain Shogun gestellt haben. Zweimal. Und das beinahe nicht überlebt hätten. <lacht> und in äh, Sumeru ging die, äh, ja gut, da war es nicht so ganz, aber doch irgendwie gegen äh, den Weißen, äh, wie heißt der nochmal? Esam? Shazam? Kesam? Keine Ahnung. Äh, ich will lieber einfach, äh, ich will Sumeru einfach vergessen. Ja. 
Ah, oh, well. I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. The secrets behind our magic are past saving, Linny. I suppose you're right. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that will be weighted during the trial. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. As a magician, our magic show is a work of art. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort in perfecting it. But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what happened, then it will be well worth it. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate the stage and the seating areas. Alright, let's go have a look while the investigation teams are still here. Detective Paimon is on the case! Da wäre mir Detektiv Pikachu sogar lieber. Wir sind die Repräsentantinnen von Lune und Lunette. Ah, ich sehe. Du musst der Traveler sein, die Lady Farina mentioned. Hör, ich werde perfekt ehrlich mit dir sein. Ich werde in dieses Whirlpool von einem Mess wenn ich dich wäre. Was? Was meinst du? Komm mit mir und du wirst sehen. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cal. Even though he hadn't joined the troop long, he was hardworking and everyone generally liked him. The assistants are usually in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. As you probably saw when you were in the audience, the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box with Cowl inside it. Ja, warum war Kaul in dem Schrank? Hätte nicht dieses Mädchen im Schrank sein sollen? This is the real mystery. We've already searched the scene and were unable to find any traces of the girl. However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. The ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, causing them to snap. All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned, and Linny is the most likely person to have access to all these areas. But he doesn't have a motive! Are you both good friends of his? Uh, well, you can't say we're good friends, but we've known each other for a little while. So in just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but even convince you to act as his attorneys. I know there's no such thing as magic. The real trick of a magician is holding the audience in the palm of their hand. I've seen a lot of cases, and I can tell you that people are the least reliable kind of evidence. <laughs> Und trotzdem werden Augenzeugen immer noch hoch geachtet. Das ist nicht immer der Fall. Die Aussage eines Menschen könnte auch der zuverlässigste Beweis sein. Um es mit Dr. House zu sagen, jeder ist ein Lügner. Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Just know that I'm warning for you on go. Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. Who knows, maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. Ja, über die Fallakte lassen sich der aktuelle Stand der Beweis- und Hinweissammlung überprüfen und Informationen über den Fall zusammenstellen. In der Fallakte kannst du noch nicht entdeckte Beweise und Hinweise prüfen und ihnen dann in den entsprechenden Gebieten nachgehen. Mit der Fähigkeit Spürsinn kannst du innerhalb eines bestimmten Bereichs um dich herum Beweise und Hinweise entdecken, die du untersuchen kannst, um den Gesamtfortschritt voranzutreiben. Ermittlungsbericht der Gendarmerie den Ermittlungen der Gendarmerie zufolge entzündeten die vor Ende der Zauberschau gezündeten Feuerwerkskörper das Seil, an dem der Wassertank befestigt war, wodurch dieser herunterfiel und Kauls Tod verursachte. Lene schien die Requisiten am ehesten als Mordwaffe einsetzen können. Aber warum war Kaul der Verstorbene und warum ist das aus dem Publikum ausgewählte Mädchen verschwunden? Diese Fragen bleiben ungeklärt. Außerdem... Das Feuerwerk schien nicht so hoch zu gehen, dass es äh, das Seil hätte treffen können. 
Informationen über die Identität des Verstorbenen. Der verstorbene Kaul war einer der Assistenten in Lenays Zaubertruppe. Zu Lebzeiten genoss er das Vertrauen der anderen Truppenmitglieder. Seine Arbeit bestand darin, die Requisiten aufzustellen und zu kontrollieren und auf der Bühne dafür zu sorgen, dass Atmosphäre und Aufführung zusammenpassten. So. Also, wir haben jede Menge zu tun. Und ich muss trotzdem sagen, dass wir das erst beim nächsten Mal machen. Eigentlich wollte ich gar nicht so lange aufnehmen, aber <lacht> innerhalb der Szene abzubrechen wollte ich jetzt auch nicht. Ne? Na naja, gut. Ich hoffe, ihr habt Bock drauf und ich verabschiede mich. Gruß, Zynas Fan.